Cryptography enables cryptocurrencies and most of the websites you visit on a daily basis. But what is it and how does it work? I'm Logan Ross, a computer science student and writer at Benzinga. Let's take a look at cryptography. Cryptography started a long time ago with the Caesar cipher. You'd line up two alphabets and then adjust one of them by a certain number, obviously less than 26, which would become your key. Anyone who had it knew how they could adjust the alphabet to decode any message. As technology and math got more advanced, they came up with new ways to scramble the data and more complicated keys needed to unlock it. The current standard for encryption, RSA, actually has two keys, a public and a private. Public keys are, you guessed it, public. So anyone who wants to send a message to an address can take the public key and use it to encrypt their message in such a way that only the matching private key can decrypt it. Cryptocurrencies are also stored similarly using RSA encryption with two keys. Fun fact, crypto wallets don't actually store cryptocurrency. They just store the private key. The cryptocurrency itself is tied to your wallet address on the blockchain. The only way to get access to it is with this private key. This is why it's really important to keep your private key safe. If you want to learn more about blockchain and cryptography, head over to Benzinga Crypto, where we have everything you need. Remember, not your keys, not your crypto. I'm Logan Ross. Thanks for watching. Lambo soon.